the mini ones, so I didn't think it was that big of a deal. And then we got the two bigger ones. So then we got the XL. It worked. Then we got vodka and simply lemonade. And you really don't taste the vodka. You know, and I didn't over the lies you tell. You must have put more vodka in my cup. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> We still got water though, you know. We bang nah. fruit and stuff. We can keep it, keep it. Keep it health. Keep it health base. Um, so ASAP Ferg has a new single. Um, Wham featuring Made in Tokyo. I kinda of been waiting on Yeah, I don't think they've done anything together. I've kinda of been waiting on that. And I don't think I listened to this track yet. <laughs> you know how it is. You always gotta get, you know. <laughs> Another song that's about to have him in clothes. It seemed like Ferg only want to make club hits. Yeah. I'll just make sure we got the L, you got the L. Oh, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> he was looking around real hard. Yeah, the gym session is going to be. Yeah, this is one of those Instagram model gym session songs. Yeah. I'm already planning my transformation video. Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm about to be like... I mean... You're such a headache. I'm just saying, it has been such a crazy year. You really got me high as fuck on it. And like, we just... We just like, oh my god. Has Ferg spoken up about Rocky being locked yeah, up? Yeah, like I've seen him on Instagram. Like, you know how they share the same picture of free ASAP yeah. Rocky. But, you know I gotta be the asshole. Remember, this is the same person who said what was going on in Ferguson didn't bother him. It wasn't his problem. Now your black ass is in a damn prison in Sweden. See, you can't run away from but, race. It is who you are. Yeah, and even ignorance always catches up. Karma comes and gets that ass. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, G Easy spoke up about it too. Yeah, because he was in jail in Sweden. And he said with illegal drugs and yeah. didn't even get this amount of mess. Yeah, and then fucking Trump said he was gonna call. He called, and now they're saying they'll release him whenever the fuck they feel like. So he's not being released anytime soon, basically. Um. Mm. What you giving the song? Cause I feel like I have mixed emotion about it. I give it an eight point five out of ten. Um, I like the beat. It's definitely energetic, and you know, you gonna get turned up to it. And like, if you at the gym or at the club, you gonna feel it. I don't know. It's a three minute song, but it felt like it was a minute and a half. That's what I'm saying. Cause all I heard was <gasps> over and over. I didn't hear much. Um. You funny as fuck. Yeah, I kind of feel the same way. Um, it wasn't really much that stood out in the song. Usually, like, we get hyped for songs and, you know, like, we remember mm -hmm. the whole song by, like, mm -hmm. the third listen. This song isn't, like, that memorable for me. I get what you mean. And then just seeing, like, him and Made in Tokyo on the same track should have really, like, been something that stuck out and was like, oh, this might be Grammy worthy. And it just wasn't, it wasn't that. Like, yeah, because lately we've been listening to a lot of Grammy worthy and that, you're right. Yeah. Um, You're right. I don't know. Maybe if this would have came out earlier this year and had some time to marinate, we might mm. feel differently. But it's it's been a tough year. Like Dreamville just beat out DJ the standards Khaled. are up here, so like, all that mediocrity has to stop. I'm just gonna be honest. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, Dreamville beat out DJ Khaled by 65 features. I mean, no, by 15 features. They had 65 features. They beat DJ Khaled by 15 features and took number one. Um, Proud of them. For those that don't know the Billboard history, there have only been 193 number one hip-hop albums. <laughs> That's not many. And they just beat out another number one album. I love it. Um, but yeah, it's definitely not the time to come with one of your weaker singles. Like, if he had a better song on the album that he's prepping, I feel like it should have been the first single. Um, this isn't it. 
at this point. And hopefully the rest of the album is better because I like Ferg is one of those artists where I feel like I shouldn't have to say anything below 9.5. Like he's he's got that catalog now. Like I shouldn't be sitting here saying, "Oh yeah, that's a that's an 8 or, you know, probably less." I gave him an 8.5. I was cuz I was conscientious of the fact that, you know, he's been out for what, 6, 7 years longer than that yeah. so I was like I'm gonna give him an 8.5 but if this was just a regular artist that just came out that's a seven that's not really that amazing I just got, you know what I mean and that's me being friendly because really that's a 6.5 but you know what it's all to the good everybody y'all might like it so y'all like it whatever is good to your ears what really matters I mean, I like it. I could just like it a lot more. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Blaze up that like button. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. Geo's gonna stop being mean eventually. No, I like it. Oh. Oh.